Welcome to part three of me getting my motorcycle going. If you missed part one and part two, I'm pretty sure you know where those links are. I have to tell you that I did have a little conniption off camera and later in the video, I will explain why and I will explain what it might have cost me. I sometimes have limited patience for repairing my own stuff. You know, it fascinates me actually, the places that I have patience for in this life. If we haven't met, my name is Tom. I got a bunch of other videos on my account. Go check them out. Part four is coming out real soon. And that's the big one. That's the one I'm most excited about. I think that's the whole reason you're here. And if it's not the reason you're here, thank you anyway for watching. Yesterday didn't work out so well. Today's a little bit better. It's funny, I was running my mouth yesterday like, oh yeah, I know where everything goes. I have a pretty good idea of where everything goes. I don't have a clue anymore. I'm having tons of doubts getting this going. It's just intimidating. There's a lot, there's a lot to do and I'm just sort of back and forth on like, I can do it and then like, I can't do it. Well, it's day three. I can tell you that my emotions have been uh, up and down with this project. We're going into day three. Feels like it's starting off pretty good. I feel like I got a pretty good idea of what has to happen next. Pretty much like if I didn't take this wiring harness apart and I just started where I was like six months ago, I'm like gonna do that today. And that is wiring in the stator, wiring in the rectifier, making it all go together and like kind of literally it should be running. The moral of the story is that I got this assortment of heat shrink tubes and I got these weatherproof butt connectors I'm hoping that that'll do it. Again, the factory plugs would all help, but a few of them have burned up since, and I don't really care to try to find them. I did look for another wiring harness for this bike, and I'm sure one exists out there, but I couldn't find one fast enough, especially after taking this thing apart and like literally cleaning off all the wires and stuff and the connectors. It's actually really not that in that bad of shape. A lot of the wires were nice and malleable. They weren't stiffened and cracked or corroded like that. Okay, so I did that thing where I took everything apart months ago and I forgot where everything goes. So right now I have the stator cover and this, I guess, transmission cover back on here. And I have all these aluminum bolts that I gotta find the homes for. Once I find where all these bolts go, I have to take this cover back off and put the gasket on there. And then I can sort of just button that off. The stator cover is back on. New gasket, new stator, new wires. I got new leads here. Unfortunately, they're not the kind that plug in, but that's okay. They are new wires providing new pat whatever. All right, so we're back here and this is the start of day four. I have to re-tap and re-dye the drain plug and the drain plug hole. I'm gonna go over at least the wires involved in the charging system. This really has challenged me in a number of ways. All in all, I feel pretty good about this. I feel really accomplished, even though this thing hasn't started quite yet, but I, I feel really good about it. So uh, I'm gonna get right to it. I think this is, nope, nope, nope. That wasn't exactly a success. Oh, yep. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Here's what I have left to do. Got the stator cover on. These are the three yellow wires. You guys will probably also have these other four wires coming out of here, and that's for your neutral safety switch and your kickstand. That gets installed down here right underneath the foot peg and the wires get run in through here along with the stator wires. These wires all come up and they go to a plug, a factory plug, behind the fuse box right here. This right here is missing the plug that goes underneath it there. So what I have to do is take these yellow wires out of the other side of the factory plug and connect them to this. These wires then go and they eventually go to the rectifier. 
there's a lot of electricity coming out of these. The electricity gets sent to the rectifier, the regulator rectifier, and it quite literally rectifies, regulates the outcoming voltage. That's my understanding of how this all works. So my factory plug got burnt up because something arced and the plug itself became useless. So I'm gonna put this engine cover back on and button this up because I think I'm pretty good to go with all this stuff and continue on with all this. I've been here for four days, at least three, four, five hour days each day here, doing some serious brain thinking, some brain work, brain power, and I'm, I'm just exhausted today. I, I walked in today feeling like, yay, we're gonna do this. And right now I'm just, I'm hungry, I'm cranky, I'm done, I'm tired. I don't wanna do this anymore. That's it for now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I sure did. I'm only so enthused at this moment. It's so close. This thing is so damn close. Maybe the biggest challenge in making this video is having it be somewhat pleasing to the eye. Um, just here by myself, it would be a lot easier if I had somebody helping filming me. And it would be really nice if I had some lights in here, um, just to get some of those close-up shots. But it is what it is, you know. It's the point of this is to get the bike going. Whatever. <laughs>